everyone! Thank you for joining me. This is Chris from Style Harmony. Today we are going to do some tassels. We're going to make these with tulle and fabric. So it's super easy, super fast. It's lightweight, it's cheap because you can use your scrap pieces or your leftovers of tulle or fabric and you can do them in any size and of course any color and very few materials will be needed. So first uh of course you will need some tool so i've chosen different colors here i'm going to use some green because i really like this uh, this color it's bright for summer it's going to be great i'm also probably going to use another tool here it's a little different this one has tiny holes this one has bigger holes but it works the same way and i'm also going to use some fabric it's going to be very easy and i'm going to show you how you can cut flowers into this I'm going to use, as for the materials, very strong glue, quick drying glue. I have put some glue all over my fingers, but now I have done many and I've, I think, perfected the way I'm going to do it so you won't glue your fingers, but be careful if you use this kind of glue. And I'm also going to use these findings. I don't know what's their name. They look like little bells. You have a variety of colors and sizes. There are many more sizes in, in here. I think it also comes in silver. I have only gold, that's one of my favorite color. And I'm gonna use the tiniest one. It's, it's totally enough for this project. First, you need to cut some pieces. As for the tool, I didn't really try to cut um, squares. It can be kind of any shape. You can make rounds or circles if you wish. So this is how it looks when there's only one piece. If I want to put more and make it a little darker, I'm going to put some more pieces on top. So I'm going to go with three so it's going to be bright and it's going to be very simple. Now the first thing I'm going to do after trying different ways, I'm going to put some glue in here and I'm being quite generous. I'm not going to fill it up, but I'm going to put a few drops in here. Then I'm going to leave it aside. For the tool, it's going to be enough because since it's very kind of translucent there are a lot of little holes it's going to go through all the three layers and i'm going to use this tool to get some kind of the, some way in the middle and i'm going to put these all together and i'm doing a pointy part here and again the glue will go will seep through the three layers and then you just need to put it in push it all the way up to the end here and wait maybe 20 seconds to make sure that it bonds really well and then i'll put it aside and i'll come back to this later i'm going to do kind of the same thing with this one here this edges that are a little bit darker and I'm going to leave it as is. Maybe I'm thinking, no, I think I'm going to leave it as is so it will have a different look. Now let's go with the flowers. So the flowers, this is how it's going to look and we're going to make all the petals. I decided I would put only two layers. Again, you can put more and you need to cut some squares. 
you can see it's not perfect. I eyeball it. It's very simple. We're going to make a triangular shape like this. Try to have at least one side that is going to be even. Then you're going to fold it. I'm going to fold it this way. You're going to fold it again. Put these two sides really well on top of each other. And I'm going to fold another time. I know that my scissors can handle them. And the more you're going to fold, the more petals you will have. So if you want your petals to be really having a nice cut, I'm starting quite low here. It's about a centimeter, two centimeters uh, uh, of, from the point here. And I'm gonna make a petal shape. And I'm gonna go straight back to where I started. Okay, make sure that you've cut all the way through all the layers and then you just need to open your flower. And this is how it looks. Now what you need to do, we're going to do the same steps in the beginning. I'm going to put a few drops in here. I'm going to put a little drop here because I'm not sure it's going to go all the way through the two layers because depending on the on the fabric you're going to use. It can be a bit hard to go through if it's really thick. Now you can see the glue has seeped through. So now what you're going to do is the easiest way I have found. You're going to fold it like so to make it pointy again. And then you just stick that into your little bell. I'm going to call this a bell. And again, you're going to wait about 20 seconds to make sure everything is secure inside. And there you go. It's finished. Over. You've got yourself a nice little flower. Here it's one of my longest. I have a very shorter one here, much shorter one there. But as you can see, it's really easy. Again, you can do these in so many colors. This one is also really short. Two layers are just fine. You can do more. If you put more layers, maybe, depending on the thickness of your fabric, you might need to use the bigger bell here, but then you can put like five, six layers. It will do something really fluffy and large and big. But I still like that. It's very lightweight, and there you go. And again, this could be, I was thinking about putting this into uh, the composition of a uh, keychain. For example, I have this one here. I could maybe take that tassel off. I'm calling this also a tassel, a flower tassel. And maybe if I use that color, put it inside here, it would make something really beautiful as well and lightweight. Here you can do a lot of them. I mean, you can do, a, I don't know, probably 20 of them in less than 15 minutes because it's really simple. No measurements required. Give it a try and see if you like it and you can make many more. And again, you see I've used a small square so you can use this, your scraps. You could probably do this also with paper, but I wanted something that is not going to rip off so too easily. So there you go. I hope this video was inspiring. Please give me some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button and also leave me your comments. Have you already done this? Uh, you can find these findings on, it's for jewelry making normally, but you can find these on Amazon or on AliExpress. I will probably put the look of AliExpress where I bought mine. They come in, uh, in packs like this in quite a big quantity for a few bucks. It's really, really cheap. Please also share on social medias and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody. Don't forget to leave me your comments and see you soon for other videos. Take care and see you soon.